Hey, hey there. Uh, this is Combat Painter at uh, his uh, Tabletop Winter Baseball channel, and I'm showing you how to create uh, labels that you can stick on your envelopes very extremely cheaply between a dollar for a season and two dollars uh, for a season, depending. Um, on what size label now this size label and you can make them even larger than this um, So this page the one uh, I used for these envelopes is a page of 30 so for one page that Costs you about $1.25 uh, for this size um, You're gonna get 30 labels plus you got to pay 70 cents for the color and this is what it looks like. You, you kind of stick them onto your envelope, and you have envelopes that aren't, uh, you know, written, handwritten. Uh, Phillies. This is from 67, so you're going to see the logos are from 67. I'll show you where the website is to find the actual logos. Um, Atlanta Braves, you know. Uh, now, all, not all these are to terribly aligned. They're not, uh, I, I'm, as you can see, this one is kind of... Um, I, you know, I didn't really, I, I threw them together real quick, but it's much better than what I had before. All right, 67 Boston Red Sox and, and so forth. All right, so it looks pretty good. Let me show you how to do that. You go to the Avery site. It's a design and printing online. You go to the Avery site. You pick out the, they'll, they'll show you, you, you write in or you search for uh, clear labels. And it'll, it'll show you a few templates, and you pick the template you want. The template I'm using right here is going to give me smaller labels, smaller than these, because I'm going to use them on smaller envelopes. Okay, but it, the, the whole process is exactly the same. It's just you're using, a, this is a template with 60 labels, so I'm getting two seasons out of this one. And uh, you can get uh, uh, one season out of the larger labels, or you can get, you know, you'll, you can even make them bigger, and then you'll, of course, get half a season. So anyway... Let's get started here. Uh, this is the second one of these I'm doing. Uh, I brought the camera up a little bit closer. So let me show you how I'll start. Let me look and see where I was at, because <clears throat> I just came in, had lunch with my daughter. All right, Cleveland Indians, 17, um, 7785. This is 1974, okay? I just uh, remembered that. 1974, Cleveland Indians. Um, and you know what? I didn't write that down. And I should write that down. 1974. Okay, so let's see. Let's uh, let me make this a little bit smaller. Let me highlight it. Let me go over here to the left. And uh, we're going to make it smaller here. I'm going to make it an 8. Um, so we're going to bring this down a little bit. Bring that down. And we're going to bring this down. There we go. All right, and it, 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 the actual template warns you if you're going over the border or if you're too close to a border. I mean, really super duper great um, software here, a great program, well done program that really does everything for you. Um, much better than years past. I've done similar things to this in the years past. I haven't done it for a while and the technology has improved greatly. So I have to get in there AL, right? I'm going to do the AL on 1974. So let's click on the text up here, upper left-hand corner, add text box, add text box again, and then I'm going to write in AL. Oh, got to have the caps, AL um, 1974. going to bring that up here. I'm going to make that a little bit smaller. AL 1974. I'm going to kind of about the center there, approximately. So AL 1974, you know what? I can even make this a little bit smaller. I don't want to make that any smaller. Let me bring this down a little bit there. Bring the Indians down a little bit. The Cleveland there. And now AL 1974. There you go. And that's gonna let's let's kind of put that in the center there. All right, there you go. That's your first. Uh, well, that's not my first label. I'm gonna ch create a, a label from scratch so you can see exactly how to do it from scratch. So let's start a fresh one. 
and then I'll go. So I'm going to start a fresh one. I'm going to do which team is it going to be. I go to, uh, the, I got this from just, um, I, I believe this is Baseball Reference, 1974 MLB standings. And I keep it um, on top, available to me, so I can look. So I did Cleveland already. I got to do the Milwaukee Brewers, 76 and 86. So I got to remember, 76 and 86. Go back to Avery. 76, 76, and 86. That's their one loss record. Put that there. The next text box is going to be the Brewers. And I'll move that right here. The next text box is going to be Milwaukee. And I know how to spell that, a miracle. And uh, probably the only... Okay, I got that. And that's going to be balanced there. And then I'm going to do one more text box. AL1974. Okay. And I'm going to put that there. There we go. All right. Now, I could leave it like that, but uh, it's not uh, It's not enough. I mean, it could be enough for you, and you just do it that way. Keep it simple, right? You don't even have to add the one loss. You, can, uh, you don't have to add the Brewers. You could just leave it at Milwaukee. And it'll be much faster. Now I'm going to add the logo. I think the logo is really key in making it look exciting. So I go to image. Now I know I have that Milwaukee Brewers logo, but let me double check. Let me. There's a, there's a site I want to show you. Look at this site. This is an amazing site. It's called sportslogos.net by Chris Kramer. Or Creamer. I don't know how you pronounce that. And in 1974, Major League Baseball Logos, because it gives you a choice when you... Uh, when you first go to the page, it'll give you a choice in years. There you go. Choose any major league season. It'll give you the logos they mostly use that season. So this is 1974. So I was checking. What was I checking? I totally forgot. Uh, let me go back. With Milwaukee Brewers. That's what I was looking at. Okay, so let's look at... They may have been called the Milwaukee Braves back then. Let me... Ch or maybe not. Oh no! They were they were already called the the, Brew, the Brewers. There you go, and that's what their logo looked like back then. To, now it's a little bit different. I think it's an M. Uh, back then it had a guy swinging, and it was circular, and it had Milwaukee Brewers written inside the sort of the yellow circle. Okay, so that's the one that I know I have already from doing other seasons, and it's I save them. See, let's say I wanted to save this one, and I didn't have it. Well, I click on, I double click on it, it opens up. Then I. I right click and I get save image as and I would write Brewers 1974 or Brewers 74 and I would have that stored in my computer. Okay, so I'm double checking making sure everything is right. Now I'm going to go back to Avery, the Avery site. And I know I have that, so I'm going to add image, browse for file. And I'm going to write in Brewers. Milwaukee, let's see. Brewers. Hmm. I'm surprised it's not there because I've used it. I have the the up to date Milwaukee. Hmm. Let me see if I wrote in Mil. Oh, you know what? It may be under Braves. Let's see if it's under Braves. No, it's not under Braves. Let's check and see if it's under uh, Mil Milwaukee. Okay, I see something here now. Milwaukee Art Museum. No, okay. It's not there, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to cancel this. I could have sworn I have that, but you know what? So be it. So here, I'm going to save image as Brewers 18. Now I go back to Avery, and I browse for the file, and I write in Brewers 18. And it's not coming up. You know what? Let's check and see because if it's, uh, let me look at something here quickly. Let's see what kind of file this is. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. PNG. This should be good. I should be good on this one. Brewers 18. Let's try it again.
We already have it. Okay. I guess replace it. Sure. So let's go back to Avery. Let's click out of that. Let's try it again. Add image. Let's see if it pops up now. Brewers 18. And I have nothing. So this is a, a glitch. I don't know why this is happening right now. Alright. This shouldn't happen. Hmm. And this is not what you, what you want to happen during a t tutorial, right? You don't want something like this. So let's do the next team. Let's hold off on that, and I'll figure that out. Let me show you how easy it is, because that didn't turn out to be Detroit Tigers, 72 and 90. All right, let's do a new one, and I'll come back to that. Uh, 72 and 90. Oh. Clicking image. No, we want to go to text box. Add a text box. 72 and 90. And we're going to bring that down. And it's going to be Tigers. And another text box for Detroit. And that goes there. And then we're going to do AL 1974. 1974. And I want to show you, once I get the logo on, have that work for me, I want to start resizing these and show you how to resize and resize them and make them really stand out. Um, okay. So let's go for the logo now. Uh, let's look and see what that logo would look like, just to make sure. Uh, let's see. The logo for Detroit. Do you see it? Yeah, there it is. I have that logo. I've used it multiple times. Um, okay, so let's go back to Avery. Let's click on image, add image, browse, tigers. I should get multiple and nothing's coming up. Let's see if I can find it in here. There it is. All right, the 63, hmm. All right. Blue Jays, look at that. Oh, Brewers, 73. Now I'm finding all my logos. I don't know why they're, when I'm running a search for them, they're... Okay, so let's get... Let's look for Tigers. There it is, Tigers 73. Okay. I don't know why the search engine is not working for me, but I knew they were there. Okay, so there it goes. So I'm going to put... I'm going to resize the logo. It's going to go there. Now I'm going to start resizing the key terms, like Detroit, the city. I'm going to make that much larger because that's a small word. So I'm going to go over here to the fonts, and so I highlight it, and I go over to the fonts, uh, to the size and font section, and I'm going to make it a lot larger, okay? Uh, i got to move it over a little bit, and now I'm going to bring the this one to the center. Um, Tigers, I'm going to move that. That goes there. This... This is going to slide down as well. There you go. Okay. Now that really stands out, and I'll be able to easily see that. I d one thing I don't like too much is that my number seems small, right? My number seems small, and uh, I'm not too happy with that because then uh, I don't have want to have to squint to see this stuff. I like to make it a little bit larger, but I don't know how I, if I can you know if I can do that and still have it fit. So let's try to do that. Make a little bit. It's a six. Let's see if I can make it an eight and have it fit in here if I slide the Detroit down a little bit. There. I think an eight would be okay. There. All right. There you go. Uh, I don't like the spacing in between there. Okay, there you go. Tigers. I'm going to bring that up just a little bit. And that one's done. Okay. So it looks something like that. AL 1974 Detroit Tigers. And the logo is nice and big. Let me go back and add the Milwaukee logo now that I found them. Add image. Browse for file. And it's going to go down here. Milwaukee. Milwaukee Brewers. I believe it's that one. Yep, that's the one. Make that larger. 
So I'm going to slide it down a little bit. So, I, I mean, these take me about five minutes each because I'm always kind of messing with it. Now I'm going to enlarge that. I want to make it a 12. That may be too large, but we'll see. The bigger, the better. The more it stands out and the easier it is to read. Um, but you can't, you know, if you can't make it, you can't make it too big that it doesn't, the whole thing doesn't fit. Okay, there you go. Look at that. That came out pretty decent looking. Okay, there. Well, this I'm just by sight, which is not all that great. I'm trying to just kind of, um, there it goes, center them, and pretty much it. That's my Milwaukee Brewers 1974 um, label. Okay, so that's what that's going to look like. And all right, we did Detroit. Uh, let me see. Let me move this a little bit. Sometimes, and I go back and I double check them at the end. So if there's something a little bit off, uh, I'll notice it, but I don't know if I will, right? Uh, all right, so let's do one more. Uh, we, did, we did the East. Now we can go to the West, the Oakland Athletics. I think they won it all in 74. The Oakland Athletics, they're 90 and 72. So let's start off with that so I don't forget, 90 and 72. And I'm going to highlight that and make that much smaller right now. And I'm going to put that at the bottom. I don't like to, uh, I don't like it bold, so I'm going to remove the bold. And let's do, let's do another text box. It's a uh, text box. It's the athletics. All right. Put that there. And we do another text box for Oakland. And I'm going to um, see, I like these to be bold because they stick out more. And then I like the lower, uh, the name of the team to be smaller. So I'm going to make that smaller. Athletics. And I like this one to be larger. And there it goes. So I'm going to bring this down a little bit so everything else can fit. Bring this uh, there. Bring this one down a little bit. Then I'm going to bring this one over. So I just realized that it's warning me. See, the, the program itself tells you, hey, listen, it's too close to the edge. So that's great. I love that about this program. Okay. And these take two minutes. They, they, they don't cost any. They cost 71 cents to print out once you have the paper. You buy the paper. The paper costs a dollar each. It's going to have 60 labels. Okay. Um. And now I'm going to do one more text box. I go up here to the left, add a text box, and this is where I want to make that smaller. So this is where I'm going to put AL1974. And that's going to go there. And now I'm going to bring in image, add image, browse for file. I know I have this in there, and I know what it looks like. Pretty sure I know what it looks like. So I'm, not going to, I'm just going to search it by manually. The A's, 73 A's. I think it's the same one as the 73 A's, but I'll double check. I'll go to that website I ta told you about. And there it is, yellow and the green. The yellow and the green with some, some uh, track shoes or, or no baseball cleats. Right, there it goes. It's all there. Now I'm going to resize this thing. It's a little bit small. I don't like it that way. I want to make it larger. I like when the, when the logos are larger. Okay, and uh, I can move this over to the side a little bit. And um, move everything down just a little bit. And that's going to be it. We're going to be done for this one here. Okay, there you go. Okay, so I did three or four of them for you, and I'm going to go back now and add on my own, and uh, that's it for the tutorial. Went 20 minutes. Uh, I feel that I gave you a good, uh, uh, an informative um, sample of how you can do these very, very easily. Again, like I told you, it can take between two and five minutes to do this, depending on how comfortable you get and, and so on. Um, so, you know, I'm doing two teams on this, on, I'm sorry, two seasons on this one page. Once it's done, 
I say, oh, very important. Don't forget to save your work. You could do one of these. You can do a whole season or two, not save your work, and all of a sudden something happens and you lose everything. You have to go back and spend another two or three hours doing it. So I, I, you know, I urge you to save your work, save to your account. You'll have an account, and when you're done, all you do is cut and paste. Okay, this is how you're going to get them printed. You're going to cut and paste up here. You're going to highlight that by clicking on it. Then I go Command A. This is a Mac. I don't know every 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 uh, system is different, but uh, and then you copy you copy the the address. Then you you actually uh, find out what the email is in your local Office Depot, and they'll print them up for you in a minute. And you can actually go over there. You can, I think you can even send them through here, and you can pick them up over there, and they're ready for you. Okay, so that's how you get them printed up. It costs, uh, once you own the sheet, you have to give them the sheet. Um, so I go there. The way I do it is I go there with my sheet. I give them my, my, my label sheet, and they put it through in the system, and they print them out. They charge me 71 cents. The sheet itself costs about a dollar, but you get two seasons, so that's, you know, half of that. So all, all together, it's between 90 cents and $1.75 um, a, a season which is amazing to have nice labels for all your envelopes to save us from the dreaded rubber band killer of cards, the evil satanic, okay, heinous, um, diabolical rubber band monster. Okay, avoid that at all costs. And I hope this helped you um, learn how to do this. And, uh, and you can buy these online, by the way. You can buy envelopes pre-printed envelopes, um, but they're $20 and up, okay? So uh, this works just fine for me. Really, the only thing is I just don't want to write it because it, it's just, it doesn't doesn't look the way it should when I kind of scribble it on there, all right? I do have some that are scribbled, and I'll show you the difference here. These are scribbled on there, look at that. Boston Red Sox, 1964. I mean, guys could do that. Guys that don't want to spend time doing this, hey, you do that. That's fine. In fact, if you're happy, you're happy. You got your card safe. But you can also have this. You know, you can also have something like that, which is nice. You can make, and you can make it much larger if you choose to, and so forth. And you can have some fun doing making uh, these labels as well. All right. So that's it. And I'm signing off. And that's uh, that's all she wrote. Take care, guys. Combat Painter says uh, adios.